Hi guys, it's Aish here again. Welcome back to my channel and I just want to wish you all a happy new year um, if I haven't already done so and um, yeah, I thought I'd just quickly come on. I love it when I say I quickly come on when actually my videos are really long. Um, I just wanted to come on and talk to you about what I'm doing for um, 2014. Most of you would know I've been doing Project 199 for 2013. I'm done with that. So what am I doing for 2014? I have said it to you guys that I'm doing Project 214. I would love to have done Project 2014 in 2014, but there's no way I'm finishing 2,000 plus products. Let's get real here. Um, yeah, so I take a different tack to most people. I don't go on a no buy or anything like that I do what works for me which is limiting my purchases not essentially not a low buy but I've got a dollar limit um, the difference is this year that I'm including skincare and hair care in that dollar limit I know considering I broke it last time it'll be interesting to see what I do this time um, yeah so but I'll talk about a lot of those details uh, at the end but for now, I'll just go through some of the products. Like I said, I am putting hair care and skin care and body care, um, more of that sort of stuff in my um, project pan this year or Makeout 2014 or Project 214, whatever you want to call it, purely because um, I've actually counted them all and I've got way too much, way too much. And the whole purpose of this year in relation to those sorts of items is actually reducing the stockpile. I've got eight shampoos and conditions in the bottom of my shower. I live alone. Seriously? This is what I'm saying. Um, I do include samples, deluxe samples, travel sizes and full sizes because like I've said in the past, a sample is just as hard for me to use up because it can hang around a long time before I can be bothered getting the scissors and cutting the sachet and using it on my face. Um, also, I actually have stopped subscribing to the one and only subscription box that I subscribed to well, and I was too lazy to restart it again. And um, looking around, I've got plenty of samples at the moment and plenty of full size products because they seem to always be giving hand care and skin care and hair care and I've got plenty of that sort of stuff. I don't need any more. I don't need any more lip balms for heaven's sake. So um, I thought I will give it a rest for 2014, see how I go and then maybe start up again in 2015. I'm not going to show everything but I'm just going to show you some of the stuff. Mostly I'm going to show you all the makeup in products. In relation to skincare, I'm also trying to, with some of the products I'm trying to use, find an alternative use for them. I've got a lot of um, moisturizers like for instance this one from, for, for, from David Jones um, that I got in a, um, a Bella box. I'm never going to use this on my face. I've got no care factor in trying it out so um, I'll just use this as body care you know like a body moisturizer. Then I've got a whole bunch of hand um, creams. This is not all of them. Then I've got some primers that I want to use and try and if they don't work they've got to go because that's one of my biggest problems is actually letting go of anyway, items. So I've got to learn to give away and um, throw away items so I haven't tried this in a long time and this is the natural glamour air mist airbrush face primer I don't even think they make it anymore so I want to try it see how I go give it at least a month and if it's going well then I'll use it up this year um, a L'Oreal Studio Secrets um, resurfacing primer I've only used it once got to use it see for how it go the elf mineral infused face primer again I haven't used much of this this year even though I bought it in sorry not this year in 2013 I did buy it in 2013 but I want to see it it takes up a lot of space so um, if it doesn't work or hopefully I'll actually finish it and get my money's worth but we'll see how it goes. So you're hearing the banging but I'm throwing them all into a, um, a tub um, by my side. I've got a whole bunch of other primers and samples, foundation samples like NARS, Napoleon and you know foundation and BB cream samples from um, YSL and I don't know Hourglass and the like so I want to finish as much as I can of these before they dry out. What's the use of getting a sample if you don't actually get to use them? Other foundations at all and I know that I've chosen a quite a few full size samples but for some of these I'll be happy to go halfway. Um, this is an airbrush foundation again from Natural Glamour. I want to see if I, it's quite dark so I'm going to see how much of I can use how much of this I can use during the summer. I know that I've chosen a lot of full size foundations but these are two foundations that I would be happy if I can at least get halfway to three quarters by the end of the year. This is the NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona. 
I love the look of this on my face but I question the color of it um, and this is just a NARS pump and that's why I mean it's 70 bucks here in Australia and I didn't realize that you can return items at Mecca um, if I did I would have and I think it might be down to here um, so if I can get half another halfway through that I'd be happy and also the Revlon color stay in true beige love it again it's been around for a while so I just want to use it up. I've also included um, a foundation that I recently purchased purely because it's a cream foundation this is my Almay TLC um, true lasting color foundation this is in neutral I just want to use it up because it's a cream foundation so um, hopefully I'll finish that during the winter and then for powder foundation I've got this Illamasqua one I love the packaging for Illamasqua but that's my the powder foundation I've hit pan and and we all know that once you hit pan things crack and basically I didn't want this rummaging around in the um, my makeup drawers so um, I'm going to try to use as much of that as I can I've got a whole bunch of mascaras unfortunately this is not my whole collection these are all unopened and I'll be opening a couple today some of you would know that I had some perfumes in um, 2013 that I want to use up um, because I purchased two full-size bottles in December I decided to um, finish up two full-size well full-size bottles but obviously they've been used of my perfumes to make room for them I'm trying to get into the habit of one in one out but it's not going to happen but we're trying um, so this one's there this is a Jennifer Aniston one it's not one of my favorite perfumes I actually don't know why I purchased it it reminds me of um, Bobby Brown Beach um, and which I'm not that big a fan of so I don't know why I bought this one but I'm going to try to use that one up and I do actually enjoy this one this is a DKNY woman and it's about down to there just in case you can't see it so I thought these are good summer perfumes so I'm hoping to make a good dent in them this summer I've got a whole bunch of lip balms that I want to use up I'm not going to go through those but so I counted all my concealers and considering that I'm not I don't feel like I'm a concealer junkie I do have a few so I've put three in my project pan that I can use um, in tandem with each other hopefully to finish them the first one is a Garnier roll on um, anti dark circles I had one of these in my 2013 and I had purchased this as a backup um, at the same time or just after I bought that one I just find this product too drying on my eyes and the way I'll end up using it up is to um, I roll some of this on and then put some eye cream on I just yeah so there's just a bit more creamier um, I've marked it that it's there but I've got a feeling that it might be up to there but no biggie it'll finish this year um, this is a benefit erase paste in number two medium there's probably at least half of it um, still in there I just find this I love the look of it under a concealer I feel it makes a huge difference but I just find it too emollient and I'm just gonna make it work because of the price and then my CoverGirl LA Simply Ageless um, Eye Concealer in 215. Again, you've seen this all before, but on other people's channels, but it's starting to dry on the corners, so I'm trying to just get my money's worth out of it. It still smells okay, so I'm sure I'll be able to use this one up um, for it's under eye primers. As you guys know, it's really hard to finish up eye primers, and I didn't realize how many I had after until I counted them. So I decided to use up this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. What I've put this in there just to remind me that I do like another one, and maybe not to buy any more primers until I finish the ones that I love. And then two eyeshadow bases. This is the. Um, Estee Lauder Double Wear in Ivory Lace. Probably got at least half of it. It's a nice pink colour. And then my Painterly Paint Pot. For a lot of the categories, I'm trying to put at least one MAC item in there so I can back to MAC. So this is my Painterly. It's almost done. I reckon I've got probably about a month's use and out of that one. And then I just want to finish up this NYX pencil in milk I've got a backup of it so I'm trying to reduce my backups I do like it I enjoy using it I despise the packaging for these I've had to stick tape it um, and so this, this one is getting a bit older so I reckon I'll be able to easily use this up um, this year and I've already got a backup of it so I don't have to worry just about some highlighting type stuff um, you would have seen in a recent haul that I bought I've got the benefit high beam in the full size and I do enjoy using it so I want to just finish up this sample um, I've got this illuminator in Odyssey from um, 
Illamasqua and it's probably up to there and I can use this as a cheek highlight a brow high, um, highlight as well as um, an eyeshadow base so I'm hoping to use as much of that as I can before it goes off because again it's been around for a while I'm trying to use up a lot of cream products this is the Inglot uh, multicolor system highlighting powder I don't know what number it is I'm apologize it's rubbed off but it's hip pan and I can't stand it when products have hit pan because very often if they get knocked around in the makeup drawer they break and crumble and I just, you know, so I want to use get as much use out of this one as I can before that setting happens. Patterns. I want to get smart. I want to choose one that was almost finished, one that I couldn't stand the packaging and one that was MAC, obviously. So um, for the MAC one I chose uh, my Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in... Um, medium plus again the world's not going to end if I don't once I finish this that I don't have it for the rest of the um, rest of the year and I can back to Mac it this is not Laura Mercier this is actually Palladio and it's probably down to I did put it into here because I don't like the Palladio packaging so it's probably down to there so once I use it up that would be awesome and then I've got a product that even though I like the product I don't like the packaging and that's a Revlon Stay, uh, sorry not the Revlon, the Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, it just comes apart so it's not something that I want to carry in my handbag um, but it's a nice colour, it's got a nice finish and um, I'm hoping to use that one up. We'll see how Put we go. Powder blush into my um, uh, Project 214 and this is the Rimmel London Pink Rose. They don't make this anymore. It's been around a while. It's actually one of my all-time favorite blushes. Again, I've hit pan on it. I want to be able to use as much of the, uh, as much of this as I can before it breaks and shatters into pieces. And um, I, I really want to use up a blush, so I thought I'd choose that. And then one. I chose some um, cream cheek products because I've got a few. I've got the Stiller palette. Um, that I just recently picked up and also picked up the two Illa Masca cream blushes. Um, so I wanted to use up some of the ones that I had. This is one of my all-time favourites and it's in the Balm Beanie palette. And this is the Lip and Cheek tint here. It's a gorgeous colour and I really want to use that one up because I've basically used up the highlighter too. I'm not a big fan of the, the gloss in here and I just wanted to be able to depot these once that um, cheek tint has finished. And I also want to finish up, and sorry this is really gunky, but this um, uh, cheek one here, I think it's from Envy, I can't even remember the brand, um, in Temptation, it's barely been used. It's a beautiful colour and I figure I can use it on my lips and my cheeks in order to use it up. I've got a couple of samples of the By Terry. I love the By Terry stuff and I want to use it up before they dry out and then I'll possibly hopefully buy one of these ones. Um, so I just want to, and they're decent sized samples because you don't need much of them. So I want to use for that cheek lip type thing. I've got this Burberry Cube. I think it's a multi-use something. Um, that's the colour there. I got this in a gift with purchasing. Purchase. Yes, the packaging is gorgeous, but I want to use it up because I've got to get into the habit of using stuff up even though the packaging is gorgeous. And then for eyeliners, again, a lot of people have been throwing away the Urban Decay eyeliners. So I've chosen three. I've only got two here um, that I want to use up because these, these buggers are a lot of money. So I want to use them up before they dry out. They're gorgeous colours. And this one is in Binge. This is in Rockstar. And I think I want to use up Corrupt as well. Two black eyeliners, obviously one's um, getting there, and just an unused one as well from I've Milani. This, I've got this thing that I buy eyebrow pencils, even though I don't use them. So I want to use these two products that have never been used and give them a go. And if they're shit, they've got to go. On to eyes. I, this is my Michael Kors Est for Estee Lauder palette. I love this palette. I think I even put it into a favourites. But I sort of broke it and I can't... It's sort of come up and I, well, no matter what I do, I can't clip it back in. So I'm counting that as one bronzer and that as six eyeshadows that I want to use up. And then I've got an unused, um, sort of like a deluxe size of the NARS bronzer in Laguna, which is one of my all-time favorite bronzers. As you can see, it has never been used. And the other ones that I want to finish up in eyeshadows is this um, sample, which is sort of halfway this is from adorn cosmetics that I received in a, um, a sample subscription and this is i don't know what the color is but it's a max sample and again it's about halfway it's in purple what is it called something edge 
I should know that but I have no idea so I thought I'll choose a brown and I'll choose a purple because of the other items that I chose that I'd enjoy wearing them with and one is the L'Oreal Color Infallible in Hourglass Beige I have used this a lot and that's why I put it in there I don't know how far I'm going to get with trying to finish it up but I thought it's worth giving a go because I don't think I've ever seen anybody finish up one of these and then I want to finish up my Chanel Illusion Dombre in Illusoire it's drying up guys and if I can use up half of this before it goes absolutely bad because it's yeah it's this is bloody expensive here in Australia I don't know it's expensive overseas too but Jesus it's expensive here um, so I want to really really want to use this as much of this as I I can before it actually um, is unusable. On to nails, I've just, I have a habit of buying nail stickers but not using them fast enough so I've put two um, sets of nail stickers into my project pan as well as a whole bunch of mini nail polishes. The reason why I put mini nail polishes and I'm reaching over as well is basically because I love getting those mini sets so I can try a whole bunch like four from a new collection but then I don't use them because the bottles themselves are difficult to open and sometimes they're just actually very um very difficult is that such a can you say very difficult yeah sometimes it's difficult to um apply with those small brushes as well so I'll put a whole bunch of those I'll show them in a second but I just want to show you I'm going to try to finish this OPI top coat I like quick try top coats I did I don't think I bought this one I think I bought I think I got this when um I got I don't know, I've only had, I've, less, I've had less than a handful of manicures in my life and I took my Sechevit and the manicurist actually broke the bottle so she gave me a replacement. So I just want to use that one up and I'll probably just brush this on top of my nail polish and then put my quick dry stuff on top of that. And then for the nail polishes, I just want to show you so you can see, um, this is the Colorish um, L'Oreal. I actually really do like the formulation of these ones so I want to use that one up. Um, my SE, I can't see the name of these names of these ones guys, but it's probably about down to there. Then I've got a whole bunch of OPI. Sorry, I'm looking away from the camera. This is um, Sparrow Me the Drama. It's not my favourite pink. Um, it's probably halfway. It definitely is halfway. Um, skull and gross skull and gloss gloss bones. Is it gloss bones? Um, I actually like this color so much that I bought the full size but I still haven't finished this bottle so I want to finish that um, this is don't burst my bubble it's actually on my nails today it's a beautiful nude but I've got a lot of them so I want to use that one up that was from the Wizard of Oz collection this is Pompeii purple it's beautiful on nails um, fingernails as well as toenails that um, this one I have no idea how much is left in it it's possibly halfway this is not like the movies from the Katy Perry collection again it's a nice color for winter I tried to choose colors that I'd wear in the summer and then some darker colors for the winter and this is I feel is both a summery and a wintry color so I'm hoping to use that one up soon and then um, this freebie that I got this is a Nicole OPI see I've put stickers on them um, I have no idea what the color is but I've got a lot of purpley ones like this one and I also just got one from Illamasqua so I'm happy to um, finish that one up and this one is a taupe a top the space needle from OPI and this was from something about the driving around America collection or something um, this one doesn't like look like what it looks like in the bottle the the color on your nails is quite different so I just want to use it up because it's not my favorite that's for nails color. and also I put two nail care because I've got quite a bit of them so that's just some cuticle oil as you can see it's basically almost full um, a Burt's Bees because I think I've got a backup of this one so I want to use this finish up next this some lips and I'm I promise guys we're getting there um, this is my Mac prep and prime lip primer I just don't reach for it I don't despise it I actually enjoy when I use it I enjoy using it but I don't reach for it so I just want to finish it up and back to Mac it and I won't need to repurchase and that. then I've got some lip pencils I don't know why I've accumulated so many lip pencils but I don't 
I hardly ever reach for them and I haven't got all the lip products with me but this is just um, a L'Oreal it's similar to the lip butters you actually get more product in the L'Oreal but that's how much is left in this one it's a nice color and then my Carez um, I'm not a big fan of tubs don't ask me why I own tubs but I'm not a big fan of tubs for um, lip color this is the lip butter in Jasmine from Carez it's basically full and then my MAC Tender Tone in Hush Hush. When the Tender Tones came out, everybody was going so ballistic for them and going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I just kept on saying, you don't like, you don't like tubs, you don't like pots, you don't like pots, you don't like pots, you don't like pots. Um, do you mind giving me one of those Tender Tones, thanks? That's how it happened. I know. It should never have happened. And because again, it's a MAC item and basically hardly ever used it as well. It's a beautiful colour. It's still got a nice, oh, nice fruity scent. Love it. So I'm sure I'll enjoy using it. I just don't like it when there's, yeah, it's just messy. A couple of the Lip Surgeons from, um, is it Lip Surgeons? I can't even remember. From Tarte. Just to show you how much is left in there. I just want to use some of these up. Probably the lip, lip crayons are the ones that I've controlled myself with. You'd be surprised to know that I don't own any Revlon of those Revlon kissable, balmy, whatevers. I just chose not to because I knew that I had these. These were more expensive and I want to use Next them. Next on to some lip glosses. I, I don't know if I'm going to finish all of these, but I'm going to try. I, I definitely know I'll finish these. These are the, the Stiller Lip Glazers. Love them. Well, um, and I've got, But I've got quite a few, so I want to use up some of those. Um, this is a Buxom Gloss in... Is it Amber? April. I think this is in April. I didn't really, I, I actually didn't buy this. I got this as a Sephora perk full size, but I've got two of them. So I need to finish one of these up. And I thought in the summer I'll make good headway because it gives you that plumpy, pepperminty, cooly fit sensation. And this is almost finished. As you can see, it's sort of, there's gaps there. So there's not, hopefully there's not much left in it. This is a Revlon mineralized one. It's been around for a while, so I just want to use it up and get my money's worth. Lastly, I've got the MAC Lip Glass in um, Viva Glam 5. This, obviously, because I had to put a MAC item in there. This, I feel like, is doesn't smell the same as it used to. And I just want to use up as much as I can before it starts smelling like plasticine. Next, I'm just on to some lipsticks. You guys might think that I'm cheating, but I feel that I'm actually being creative. And the reason why is that I've actually got two packets of these. These are the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Colour Moisturising Lipstick. I did buy a full size and I loved it so much that I wanted to buy a few more. But because I had these samples, I swore that I have to finish this sample and the other packet of samples before I can buy another one. And there's quite a bit of product in here and I'm I'm hoping that once I finish both lots of samples, I'll just be over it and not and need to buy And then again, because anymore. the sample sizes are always harder to... Well, I keep on losing these damn things. And these are from Savoir Faire. And Savoir Faire is an Australian brand that's cruelty-free. They're just gorgeous colours that, and um, I just want to use them up. And again, I've tried to choose a variety of colours and I'm hoping to, that I finish these up before the I lose them. The I want to finish up is this one. This is one of my all-time favourite nudes. I tend not to wear a lot of nudie nudes, but because I've got some other glosses that I, can, I wear over them, um, this one I love. This is in Blankety. This is from MAC. Again, you can see there's quite a bit of product in there, but... It doesn't smell the same as it used to. So I'm trying to use up. And if I got down to, say, here, I would be extremely happy. Um, yeah, it's it still smells of vanilla, but not as much as it used to, if that I makes sense. I think that's all the products that I needed to show you in relation to makeup. I haven't shown you every single item because I didn't want to make this as long as it probably is already. Um, like I said, there'll be hair care, body care, skin care in here. There's toners because I've got too many toners. There's, um, I've put two pre-cleanse type items because I love my cleansing oil and that those, the yes to carrot ones I despise even though they sort of work. So I want to use those ones up. I've put shampoos and conditioners because I've got too much. So it's about reducing the stockpiles I have this year. And what I'll try to do is probably every month go through a category and try to just give away items. Whether I show them in empties or not, I can't really guarantee. Or maybe I'll just show you here they all are that I'm getting rid of or something like that. Because obviously they didn't work for me if I'm getting rid of them or I don't reach for them. So I don't want to do full reviews on them.
sorry i probably mean mini reviews but you know what i'm saying um as for the rules um there's probably some things i need to say i think i'm probably mentioned in a previous video um i do have an iherb order that's due to come in that's already been paid for in 2013 um a friend's going overseas and picking up some stuff for me that's already done and so but she'll be coming um this year and if she doesn't pick him up if she because she's going with her child if she can't do that i've already set aside that money like that money is already there and it was set aside in 2013 so i'll just use that up and that's i don't want to add it to 2014 but so because i might change my mind and not want those products anymore I've seen on instagram that i've ordered the naked three palette so that basically just hasn't come in as yet i do have a spending limit and as i've said in the past everybody's budget's different so i'm not going to tell you how many dollars i'm spending but again you guys know should know me by now that i'm honest and i told you guys back in november or october that i was over my limit and um yeah so if that happens again i'll tell you as soon as it happens this time I'm counting hair care, skin care and body care as well because there are obviously some, I've got some problems there because I've got too much stuff. Guys, no birthday month is going ballistic month. Whether I have birthday month or um, birthday fortnight, I don't know. We'll see how we go. Maybe I'll do the week before and the week after or, you know, during all that, you know, the, that fortnight. As you guys know, I actually assigned a dollar amount to anything that I finished in 2013. I found that fun and I found that motivating. So I'm going to do the same this year. So um, I'm going to do the same as last year and basically probably do exactly the same as last year. $3 for um, full size, uh, $1 for deluxe and 50 cents for sample size for those that aren't part of the 214 products and for those that are 200 those 214 products it's whatever i paid for it so it might be that the product's 50 dollars and i bought for 10 so it's what the the price that i paid for the product and for deluxe or sample sachets three dollars was it three dollars that i did last year and then one dollar for those mini mini sachets so with the money that I actually um, make with the, um, my Project 214, do you guys still want me to show you my actual um, big purchases? I'd love to still show you my, um, the higher end items that I showed, um, purchased. I think you guys go on the journey with me. So I think it's nice to show you guys what I've actually purchased um, during that journey and see what you guys can achieve, whether it be that you only assign two dollars for each item like i've said in the past and you finish 50 items and you buy a tom ford quad you know um it it doesn't matter i'm not showing off i just want to share this with you guys and share the, the total journey so with let you me know and um i'll consider your opinions and take note of your opinions whether i follow them or not is another story because i am my own woman hear me raw okay guys that's it. I keep on looking there because I've just got a whole stockpile of other stuff there that I need to sort through. Um, thank you guys for sitting through this. If you guys are going to try and um, try to join me in Project 214, let me know. And what you guys think of or whether you're going to do some like dollar rewards and whether you're going to use that dollar rewards for makeup items or not makeup items. This year I might actually use some of them for some really high end makeup items i haven't decided yet we'll see and it might be that i can only buy that item during birthday week or something i know i make a thousand rules for myself and i'll have to write it down somewhere so i remember so i don't make them hands so i go along during my birthday week and birthday month or birthday fortnight i'm rambling guys if you're joining me let me know and let me know what you're um what you're going to do and it'll be interesting for those of you who are watching this video Put your predictions down as to what I can get down to and we'll see at the end of the year what my number is and what you think and see whether you're close or not. That's that's actually a bit of fun. Otherwise, do I say otherwise a lot? Take care, guys. You know, I have loved every minute of this last year and have been enjoying all your lovely comments and support. I hope you join me in 2014 as well. Otherwise, take care. Look after yourselves and look after your family and friends and I'll see you next time. Ciao.